Welcome back to the Google Guru. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a pivot table using Google Spreadsheets. A pivot table is an easy way to summarize and analyze large data sets in a digestible format. So here we have a list of incoming students with their name, gender, age, and city. So what we're going to do is create a pivot table that breaks down a count of all the students' ages as well as their gender. So first we will click this top left square to select all the data on the spreadsheet. And then we will go up into data and click pivot table report. So here you have your pivot table report with four options. You have rows, columns, values, and filters. First we are going to add a row. And for row we are going to add age and we can choose whether to have this in ascending or descending order. And now in order to get a count of all of these ages, under values we will choose add field, and then we will choose age, and then as you can see these are some very large numbers. And what it's doing right now is it's doing a sum, so we're going to switch this to count A, or count Count A is used for counting non-numerical data. So as you can see, we have a grand total of 200 students, and the majority of them are 23. And there are 33 22-year-olds, 29 21-year-olds, and so forth. But now if we want to break this down by gender, we also want to add a field under columns. We'll choose gender. And now you can see a breakdown of the age of all the females on the list and all the males on the list as well as grand totals for each and if we would like to exclude a certain age what we can do is we can go down to filter and say we would like to not show any of the 23 year olds so we can click age and under show we can click 23 and then click OK and now it has gotten rid of all the 23 year olds in our pivot table. So pivot tables are very versatile tools and they can be used to analyze and break down all sorts of data sets. This is just one of many examples and I hope you have found this very helpful and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day.